Great song, great timing, Mike P. Welcome back to the Jam on the U. Well, it looks like our favorite former Bachelorette contestant, Whitney Bischoff, is officially off the market. Ow! Yes. Welcome, Mrs. Is. Angel. Yes, thank you, guys. Absolutely. Mrs. Angel. She it ended up with official. such a cool last I name. Did. <laughs> okay, so you recently got married to your fiance, Ricky, in Cape Cod, and it was, uh, you know, you have photographers there. It looks like a beautiful place. Look at all that. Yeah. Great setup. So now you usually have a photographer, but your photographer happened to be from People Magazine. Well, it, my photographer. You don't believe me? Take a look right here. Her yes, pictures her in spread. People, yes. Oh, so your photographer yes. delivered the pictures. Okay, usually yes. you send them out on an email blast. Yours go in People yeah, Magazine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's she did pretty an cool. So tell job. us about the dream day. How was it? I mean, it couldn't have been more perfect. I mean, I woke up that morning of the 21st thinking I was going to have my wedding inside. But mm -hmm. it was just so beautiful that I said, we've got to do this outside. When does that ever happen? So, Usually it's the opposite, right? Yeah. Whether you yes. want to be outside, it's bad, you go inside. Well, that is my recommendation for all women planning a wedding. Just okay. plan it inside, and then if it's nice enough, move it outside. It saves you a lot of anxiety. Mm. Well, you'd be planning. talking to me because Felicia's been down that road. She's done. Yeah. She's got her my, I had an outside. I had a beach wedding, okay. but we had a rain plan. So you, you have to plan for you both. Otherwise, you're inside, up inside of an icky like, yes, conference room. Yes, exactly. Who wants that? I know. So you had a great number people there 150 and you had some special people in attendance some yes. bachelor alums so were in the house so caitlin and sean were there um carly and evan were there um we just it, it was just absolutely perfect you know how a lot of people say that something definitely goes wrong on your wedding day yeah. speaking to felicia i, yeah, I don't know that mine was perfect too yeah you know that's so good i couldn't have changed we anything. got good juju we're giving yeah. good juju yes. to all the Two beautiful all the married folks. women here that's what every guy loves to be around <laughs> all right so here's my one thing that i absolutely love from the whole setup was no cell phones. Yeah, it was an unplugged ceremony, so oh, we made it. it um, now, was this people's decision, your decision? How this, did was, that work? this was my decision and it. my wedding planner's decision. I love it. So I just I wanted people to be in the moment. I wanted people to not be, you know, looking through their phone and, you know. We just had signs everywhere, yes. and um, my brother-in-law was the officiant, and we oh, had great. him say a little something. You know, we know you all think you look good, but you know, let's keep the phones a foot in our pocket, and let's I really just it. be in the moment. I did that for my ceremony. I thought it'd be hard for like five plus hours for everybody yes. <laughs> to do it the whole yes. time. But you being with the namesake and everything, you know, people would have been trying to snap pictures of you, and you got to get the exclusive to people. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. All right, well, we're putting the cell phones away right now because it's a very important time here on the show. Mm -hmm. Jam session time. Let's I get right into it. it. And his first topic is a serious one. Oscar winning <laughs> actor Kevin Spacey, he's under fire. He's been accused by actor Anthony Rapp of, make, of being sexually inappropriate with him more than 30 years ago. Now, get this Rapp was just 14 years old at the time. Spacey was 26. What really stood out to me is Spacey, he didn't deny the accusation. He, it was almost dismissive in his apology, saying basically it's entirely possible it happened so long ago. I was most likely drunk. And he said, I'd like, to, I'd like to use this time to apologize. But he also came out. He said, I, you know, I've loved and had romantic encounters with men throughout my life. I choose now to live as a gay man. Look, if I'm a member of the gay community, I've got to be sitting there saying, no, 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 no. Not now do you choose right. to come out. Right. Don't do it now that you're under no. fire, right? Right. And why, I mean, I just, I understand with all of the other allegations that are coming out in Hollywood. But I'm wondering why this didn't come out so long ago. Mm -hmm. It just it doesn't make sense yeah. to me. I definitely think a lot of victims are feeling empowered mm -hmm. and like they can stand up for themselves and speak out because of the, all right. the allegations that are out right now. Um, it, it's just I don't I guess I'm not liking how Kevin Spacey is handling. That's it. my right. biggest issue, Felicia yeah. is and, and Whitney. And, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, my only thing is the victims. I, that's a whole other thing I can't in, get into. I've been a victim, so the timetable doesn't bother me. It bothers me that Kevin Spacey said, yeah, I might have done that. Anyway, the bigger story, you ready for this headline? I am actually yeah. gay. Right, and, and he said, I don't it. remember. It right. was very Trump-esque of him. Right. With a serious issue going on, let me switch the narrative. Let me take the headline somewhere right. else. Everyone will be talking about how I'm gay and not talking about my poor behavior. Trying to dodge behavior. the bullet. And didn't we see Wanda Sykes tweeted Wanda out? Wanda Sykes came, called for She said, for don't hide behind the rainbow. Don't right. hide under the yeah, rainbow. Yeah, we don't have your back on if this If you're going one. to do something that's sexually inappropriate, that has nothing to do with your own sexuality. Mm -hmm. I appreciate her speaking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. That's a very valid point. All right, according to now my favorite magazine, People Magazine, <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson is serious about a 2020 presidential what? run. The Rock was quoted saying, this is a teaser, I think the people's president has a really nice ring to it. I'll just say that, and then you let it breathe. I wonder right. if he hit us what? with the eyebrow when he said yeah. <laughs> the people's president. Now, here's my question. With all these celebrities now entertaining the idea as Donald Trump's reinvented what it takes to be a presidential candidate, and now the president, would you vote for The Rock? 
No. <laughs> I mean, when when did becoming the president become like some just new tagline? It's a popularity contest now. No. I feel like it truly is a popularity These are not, contest. This is not Ronald Reagan here, you know? So you could put it under your social media profile, president. No, exactly. <laughs> and you make mention of Ronald Reagan because he was a former actor. Right, right. But, I mean, he actually, you know, did a great job, I think. Oh, my gosh. Well, and other people throwing out other actors, and I, I guess in that same role as a rock type is Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. and he made yeah. public office in yeah. California. So, I don't know. I'm not ready to count the rock out. I just feel like, why not hear what he's no. about? He's, he's an independent. <laughs> he's made appearances at, the, at a Republican no. events. He's made appearances at Democratic events. I'm not events. sold. I, I'm not sold. I really like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's a very handsome man. <laughs> hey. Jesse The Body Ventura <laughs> hey. is another one that comes to mind. But I'm not sold on it. Like I said, Al I think Franken? I said this last week, I would be okay with like a, a tech giant like Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk. Like You're really pushing this Zuckerberg. Really, mm -hmm. I would probably vote for Zuckerberg. Is there any other celebrity <laughs> Whitney want to put you on a spot that you can think of? you like, I would maybe give him my vote. Oh, gosh. No, no I really can't. Oh. Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> Who says no to Oprah? I mean, Whitney, no to Oprah. put this woman in people and she's yeah. not endorsing anybody. <laughs> Unbelievable. She's like, uh, Whitney Angel, why not? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just tough. That's a tough role. It that is. is a tough role. Yeah. So I don't think it should just be handed out to anyone. I don't I want agree. it to just be celebrities. No. Saying pop. It's just, then it was always a popularity contest, but then it's really a popularity contest. All right, Whitney Angel, who'd you vote for? No, I'm just kidding. No, All right, what do no. we got? Oh, no. <laughs>